The dialog system provides several logging and debugging features. This video covers some of the more commonly used debugging features. They include runtime conversation status in the dialog editor, watches, a separate variable viewer window, configurable log levels, and a runtime Lua console. When a conversation is active in the Unity Editor's play mode, you can inspect that conversation in the dialog editor. The current dialog entry node will be green. Outgoing links whose conditions are true or blank will also be green, and outgoing links whose conditions are false will be red. In play mode, the dialog editor has a Watches tab. You can add watches for variables, quest states, and general Lua expressions. You can also change variable values and quest states in the Watches tab, as well as run Lua commands in the Run bar at the bottom. Set Auto Refresh if you want watches to refresh their values automatically, or you can click the Refresh button next to each watch to refresh it manually. If you want to watch variable values while also viewing a conversation tree, use the separate Variable Viewer window. To get detailed, under-the-hood logging, inspect the Dialog Manager game object and set Other Settings Debug Level to Info. In play mode, detailed dialog system activity will be logged to the console. If you make a development build, these same logs will be in the player.log file. Here's an example. When we start a conversation, you'll see a starting conversation log in the console. You see the title of the conversation and the game objects that are being used for the actor and conversant. In general, you want these to match the actor and conversant you specified in the dialog editor. If a node's conditions are currently true, you'll see an add link line. If the conditions are false, you'll see block on false link. You can also see the sequencer commands as they run. Each sequencer command will have two log entries. The first logs the command as the sequencer's parser understands it. This appears as soon as the sequence starts. The second log appears when the command actually runs, and it shows any game objects or other references that the command is using. Finally, you can add a runtime Lua console to your scene. Add a Lua console component and configure the key combination that will open it. The default is backtick L. You may want to tick pause game while open. Now that we're in play mode, we can press backtick L to open the Lua console. In the Lua console, you can enter Lua commands such as return variable to get a list of all variables and their values. Or return quest to get a list of all quests. You can also use any Lua commands that you'd use in your conversations, such as set quest state, and return current quest state. And you can also use any of your own c -sharp methods that you've registered with Lua, so you can really use the Lua console to control more than just the dialog system. So these are the various features you can use to get an idea of what's going on under the hood when the dialog system is running. Thanks for watching.